Hi guys, Polter Journey here and welcome to the channel. I'm making this video to answer one question. Can a beginner photographer make money selling stock photos? If you want the short answer, the answer is yes, you can make some money. I did so, so you can as well. But if you want to know how much, keep watching. Also, I'll break down what I learned in this one year and what I'll do moving forward. But first, a little bit about my background. I bought the camera with which I shoot in the summer of 2019 and I uploaded my first 19 pictures in the late July of the same year. Before that I had an old point and shoot camera that I wasn't using very much. Pictures that I uploaded weren't very good and I'm quite surprised that Shutterstock actually accepted me. Then few months passed and I didn't upload a single image till November of 2019. I uploaded just 4 images in that month and I made one sale in the month of October. Then again I didn't upload pictures to the site till the February when I uploaded 11 pictures and from then on I was uploading regularly to the site. I uploaded 25 pictures in March, 26 in April, 35 in May, 10 in June, 45 in July and 39 in August. From March on I was earning a little bit of money every month. In total I made $10.52 in one year with 214 pictures in my portfolio. But it's true that I didn't take this seriously until February so it will be quite interesting to see how much more I will be able to earn till that month. Even though I didn't earn a lot of money I think I can earn much more if I will stay consistent. Plus I am learning with all the rejections I get and I can see my photographs quality is increasing every month. So now let's talk about what I learned in this one year. First, people doing something. Most of my pictures that I sold were about someone doing something. Let me explain. My two best selling pictures are showing people doing work. One is showing a hand of a lady that is transplanting tomato seedlings and another one is showing a man pruning a tree. So if you can try and take pictures of people doing something. Also if you don't want to have headache with modern releases don't shoot people faces or parts that are easily recognizable like tattoos. When I started taking pictures of people in action my sales did increase so you can try this out as well and see if it will work for you. 2. Everything sales. Once I took a picture of pressure valve that we have in the garden and I actually sold it. So if you have some weird pictures just put them on, you don't know who might need them. 3. Consistency. Once I started uploading consistently I also get consistent downloads. That is because Shutterstock has new content section where buyers can see your new work and that will lead them to your older pictures and that can boost your sales. So be consistent if you can. 4. Create collections or sets. If you have images that are relatable put them in a set as if buyers find just one of your images there is a higher chance that he might buy more as Shutterstock displays your set under the pictures the buyer is looking at. 5. Use relevant keywords. Use the keywords that best describe your image. Don't overuse the keywords as that might negatively impact you. It's more important to be accurate than to fill up that 50 keyword slot. I think the best number is around 35. More is better of course. Also look at what keywords you are targeting as some might give you back 50,000 results and similar one can give you half a million results. So try to target keywords with less competition. You can see this information just below the search bar. There are also some keyword suggestions that you can look at. Also to speed up the process use Shutterstock Keywords Research Tool or some other tools like Tropstock.io or Microstock Keywords Tool. Before the last tip please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. It really helps me motivate to make more videos like this. Thank you. And now the final tip number 6. Put all images on. Don't be afraid of competition. In this case I mean that a lot of people are saying that you won't be able to sell images in a very saturated niche like images of dogs or cats. Even though this is true to some extent you must know that sometimes buyers are looking at something specific. So don't be afraid to take pictures and upload it to a saturated niche. I actually sold 3 pictures with dogs on them but on each of them the dog wasn't actually a main subject but was just a part of the image like this one when we can see it's actually a therapeutic dog. So it's more about therapy than actual dog itself. So try to find such pictures and upload on different stock sites. 
I hope I clarified some things, but you also have to know that stock photography is a long term game. And the more time you put into it, the more you will earn and better photographer you will become. And don't feel bad about rejections, as with them you will learn a lot. Also it's very important that you diversify. Try to sell at more than just one stock site. A good alternative is a dope stock, where I start selling in the late February of this year and I made $6 so far. There are a lot of other stock photography sites out there. You just need to find one that suits you best. I made a short video about sites that I'm uploading to. Link will be in the video description and you can click the i icon on top as well. So even though I only earned $16 in total, I will still be uploading to stock sites and hopefully I will become an even better photographer and I will be able to earn more and buy better equipment. So if you want to become part of the journey, consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye bye.